Hi beautiful souls, welcome to your channel. This is your safe place. And today's reading is going to be about who is your secret admirer? Who is secretly <laughs> admires you? Maybe has crush on you? Love you? We'll look at the cards. So uh, we'll have three different piles. This is going to be pile number one with your rose quartz and this beautiful girl with greens and this is going to be your tarot deck pile number two is going to be crystal quartz this is your crystal and your girl is the one in purpose the lilac this one and your tarot deck is going to be this and the last but not the least pile number three your crystal is moonstone it's beautiful and your girl is the one in pinks with this little bird and your tarot deck is going to be this one okay you can pause the video and focus on the decks if you feel you are drawn to more than one deck then you listen both of them i'm going to start with pile number one if you hadn't choose you can meditate for a while maybe and ask your higher self who is my secret admirer and i believe you'll find the answer so begin with pile number one welcome back pile number one First, uh, we are going to choose your oracle cards. These are very beautiful, very descriptive oracle cards. Um, here in Hudak, mostly we have uh, physical qualities. So let's have a look at them. Pile number one. You can focus with me to your admirer. Pile number one. Who is your secret admirer? Who is that person? Pile number one. Who is your secret admirer? Straight top. Hmm. Someone with straight top, straight hair. Okay. Slender. Long hair. Tinker <laughs> Whirlwind Connection hmm. Okay Age older than you someone who is older than you Hmm Okay Water sign Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Extrovert, <laughs> someone who is extrovert, Curly Top, okay, so because this is the general reading, for some of you this is someone with straight top, with straight hair and for some of you, this is someone with curly top. Okay. Brunette. Mm -hmm. Short hair. <laughs> yeah. Some of them, I believe, for some of you, this is straight top with long hair. <laughs> and for some of you, curly top with short hair, maybe. It can be also vice versa. And medium hair. Okay. So we have almost all of the hair types, hair lengths, 
okay and here we have gray sandy gray sandy okay you can look them for the physical characteristics so let's choose their qualities pile number one who is your secret admirer giving caring <laughs> uh, i think they are similar you know someone who loves to give someone who is generous to people around them and someone who really cares about the people very loving caring person yeah okay someone really like this thinker thoughtful i believe thoughtful caring thoughtful and if they really have water sign <laughs> yeah we can say they are very caring like mother like father like you know this qualities okay who is your secret admirer pile number one tempting and drama lover yeah if they have water sign in their birth chart obviously they are drama lover because i am also a cancerian with the um moon in scorpio and even if we say oh i love peace i am peaceful <laughs> we love drama you know we are dramatic so i believe this person who secretly admires you is someone dramatic drama queen maybe drama king or drama queen and also tempting this is like very scorpio energy <laughs> what do you think this is very scorpio energy with this uh purple yeah i love purple this is very um royal color <laughs> very royal color and here we see the black cats maybe this person or you have black cats i love also black cats honest someone who is honest nice people pleaser yeah they love to please people and i believe this is not like a two-faced situation you know please them but don't love them gossip about them no uh, they really care about the people around them i think they are humanist motor mod <laughs> they love to talk but much <laughs> much talking and funny they are also seem like funny person and here we have charismatic yeah these are um if you are suspicious about someone these are like uh, confirmation cards you know um first look at them then we will read the tarot cards now finally we have here some zodiac signs zodiac signs and your attributes positive and somehow negative attributes so let's see pile number one who is your secret admirer cancer <laughs> again water energy and it, it pops up it's again cancer obviously these are cancer emotional and sympathetic tenacious and persuasive yeah because they are charismatic they <laughs> talks a lot <laughs> maybe like me i also love to talk even though i say no no i'm silent <laughs> no i love to talk <laughs> talking is my job you know <laughs> as you can see uh here we see so much cancerian energy leo relaxed and lazy and leo is about uh generosity you know merciful generosity they love to give nice taurus patient and diligent gemini idealistic and knowledgeable yeah because they love to think 
maybe they are into philosophy somehow again cancerian suspicious and pessimistic yeah cancerians sometimes can be pessimistic and we have this gemini again gemini both hot and cold yeah i believe this person is like black and white <laughs> uh, they don't have any middle ground <laughs> they are like white and black they're up and down uh, one last card capricorn responsible and discipline responsible and discipline and here again gemini nervous and worrisome so look at these characteristics because i'll pick up them then i read the tarot so we see here lots of water energy but also capricorn leo taurus gemini again lots of gemini maybe they have cancer in their sun but uh, in their moon or ascendant they can have gemini leo taurus i don't know you can look at the signs again they are very loving and caring person they are honest i think they are also sexy <laughs> you love um you could love being around them you could love being around them yeah this is a nice person so look at their tarot cards look at their tarot cards i pick up them these are the confirmation cards as i said so let's see the tarot pile number one who is your secret admirer pile number one who is your secret admirer pile number one It's the Leo Carton. It is about also generosity. Pile number one. Who is your secret admirer? Pile number one. Who is your secret admirer? friend student and mentor yeah mentor and at the bottom of the deck we see the addict it's the addict so let's read them <sighs> hermit knight of wands seven of wands eight of swords Six of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and here we see Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, now you can see. <laughs> okay. This is someone very dedicated to their work, their inner work, yes, but also the earthly world, you know, earthly uh, duties they are responsible they are a wise person with this hermit card and here with the mentor they are wise and i believe uh, they can be older than you maybe but also we see here page cards with this student there is knight there is page and here student hmm okay there there can be an age gap you know maybe they are older than you or maybe they are younger than you but obviously you are not at the same age or at the same um, maturity level yeah with here 
hermit card it's the virgo energy also it's the virgo energy um they are very focused and very detailed in their mind actually hermit energy is somehow an ex um introvert energy but here with this um six of wands we see the extrovert energy again i believe yeah they are uh, like sociable they are in touch with people but they love to spend time with their own alone time you know alone time me time they love to read love to search study this is like their um forever job you know uh, their life purpose their life purpose my husband is also like that <laughs> he have thousands of books and every day he all again buys books and this is his life purpose like to him and here i see someone who really loves to read you know maybe they have a uh, somehow big library in their home if it is not that they take books from library read them read them read them and uh, they put some hard work hard work to their um individual development you know individuality individual development and here with this oval it is also again a sign of wisdom someone who is very wise with here like the mentor card it is about also transferring um wisdom to others to students to people around them maybe they are teacher maybe they are teacher academician or even maybe uh, they are someone who is not in these uh, occupations but they love to educate people they love to illuminate them i believe and they develop not only their character their individuality but also uh, the character of people around them yeah because i see here a student and a teacher relation i believe this is their situation with life they are both the student but they are also the um, instructor the teacher they learned so much but they are still learning yeah um, this is a going process this is a going process and here with the um knight of wands they love to challenge challenges is a thing for them they love to um solve the problems with here seven of wands if there is some challenges if there is some problems oh okay <laughs> let them <laughs> be mine i love to um think on them think about them and solve them yeah this is their case and here we see the addict addict is also about the behaviors that cause addiction that cause limitations for one yeah and they love to change them they love to challenge and face them they are not afraid of these uh, addictions these limitations this is something that gave them strength of course if um, accept the challenge here we see the eight of swords maybe they can be sometimes like oh there is nothing i can do about but I believe they are persistent you know they are not like oh I can't do that let me sit here and sleep all day and not think about no they love these challenges but they also need uh, some kind of space some kind of time to think about these problems uh, they are very intelligent and 
more than intelligence actually they are persistent they are determined you know um, sometimes people can be intelligent can be um, clever but they don't love to spend time on this and they just ignore these skills ignore their abilities this person does not know if there is something to be challenged like this here you know you can see the dragon here and our knight <laughs> is running to it is he is flying to it he doesn't um, escape from the challenge he doesn't escape from the uh, dragon because he is someone who takes risk who t um, loves dangers <laughs> if there is something dangerous then this person of you this secret admirer <laughs> is here again and i believe uh, they are watching you from a safe distance right now yeah there is some kind of observation here but maybe you can see them right away maybe you think them um, you think them as a friend maybe someone who gives you that kind of advice maybe they are your colleague maybe they are your boss i don't know but um i believe they can't show feelings right now they are just in a some kind of a disguise and here also we can see in the six of wands someone who achieved something in their life it is about victories but even though they have this victory they love to share this with people this older woman taking this rose from this victorious woman and we see here lots of uh, red color and red color is also about the root chakra our first chakra it is about our uh, sense of security in life our basic our fundamental needs and this person um, give gives priority to their um, needs their earthly needs their career their finance their environment their you know the people people around them this is very important for them they are a companion a friend a very sincere and very patient generous merciful honest friend and as i said before maybe you are a friend with them yeah and also they are very patient as i said before because we see here lots of wounds and lots of pentacles actually wounds are the fastest but the pentacles are the slowest and I believe, uh, as I said before, with this, you know, these confirmation cards before, um, you see them like, oh, this is such an interesting person. They are also black, but also white. You know, this, you can't make the difference. They are no grace. They are no grace. <laughs> it is like um, two sides of them sometimes they are alone they are introvert but sometimes they are very dynamic very extrovert very loves to challenge <laughs> and i believe this person um changes jobs changes professionalities a lot they don't love to spend their time in a place uh, for a very much long time they love to move they love to journey yeah they have journeys they uh, travels all the time it is like that or um, even if they travels a lot they again spend their own time with their self here we see the page of pentacles 
and you can see a map lying in front of his feet and this is like their um, goals I am going to see these places before I die <laughs> this is like that, that kind of energy and he is taking risks you know heads and tail he is taking risks he loves to challenge he has um, this person I mean he has uh, some kind of money here his uh, savings but he is ready to spend them to see these beautiful adventures yeah he loves that if he I mean they sees um, a kind of an opportunity they evaluate this and they take advantage advantage of this in their sake yeah this is very beautiful energy to be honest very beautiful very calm but also dynamic at the same time and I believe this is the um, thing about them they are dynamic yes they are taking risk yes but they are not um, childish they are not foolish you know they are doing this with some kind of a maturity and people around them trust them yeah with here um, three of pentacles you can see they are doing, doing teamwork they are um, working with people working with teams and maybe they are some kind of an artistic person they have creative sides yeah and here we see again the blackheads and yeah let me yeah in this deck we see lots of cats you know in each card but here all of the cats are black <laughs> let's see another let me show you yeah here you can see white scales tulicos yeah but here it's only the black cat maybe a black cat is their thing you know maybe they have this or you have this i don't know and here again i see the zodiac signs as virgo sagittarius leo gemini leo again and capricorn but page of pentacles and ace of pentacles is all about the earth sign pure earth sign so you can send say capricorn virgo or taurus it doesn't matter so this was your secret admirer pile number one i hope you enjoyed the reading uh, if you do please subscribe to my channel i am you can support me with uh, this subscription <laughs> or you can like the video or even you can um, leave a comment below and you can share the video with your loved ones so take care of yourself i hope to see you in other readings bye welcome back pile number two so first of all we are going to choose some confirmation cards then we'll do the uh, third reading so let's see you can focus with me to cards and you can ask who is my secret admirer so pile number two pile number two who is your secret admirer pile number two curvy someone who is curvy vervid connection fit short hmm soulmate hmm this can be a kind of a soulmate relationship long hair 
same age range okay same age range okay older than you hmm it's either same age as you or older than you bald top mm -hmm. and curly top we see different um, hair lengths and different hair types i believe so because this is a general reading you can take whatever resonates to your situation muscular okay tall and sensing so for some of you i believe it is someone short with curvy body qualities but for someone it is tall muscular maybe and also we have something here as extra cards and here we see blonde okay you can take this not all of them are meant to resonate but these are like the signs these confirmations who is your secret admirer pile number two heart worker grumpy <laughs> sweet grumpy and sweet at the same time <laughs> okay noisy hot okay <laughs> accepting and victim hmm maybe they have some kind of a victim mentality and here we see drama lover okay with this grumpy and sweet i guess this can be <laughs> and here with hard work here we see a doctor a doctor woman maybe they are in the field of medical and here we have the zodiac signs who is your secret admirer? Pile number two. Okay, I'll take them. Virgo, kind and loyal. Leo and Leo, funny and charming, stubborn and arrogant. Yeah, <laughs> it is like this, you know. Grumpy, stubborn, arrogant. I believe they are like these two uh, people like um, they don't know they are not familiar with but to their uh, close friends their family I believe they are very funny charming sweet and kind work again analytical and intelligent as we can see here Capricorn, hard-headed and arrogant. Yeah, arrogancy comes your device. Sagittarius, humorous and light-hearted. Cancer, tenacious and persuasive. And here, Libra, silent hater and begrudging. Yeah, I think familiar characteristics at the same time. Uh, these zodiac signs they can have this in their sun moon ascendant you know virgo leo capricorn sagittarius cancer and libra okay with here with this virgo energy i think they are very intelligent analytical and uh, analytical also very detailed you know they are very detailed in their mind it always reminds me of Sherlock Holmes with this mind plus, you know, mind palace. Maybe they have some kind of um, um, ability to remember everything in their mind. Yeah. Their uh, memory is very strong, I believe. With theirs, Leo funny charming <laughs> noisy maybe they love to do a party love to uh, go to parties 
maybe video games also I hear sense something like that and here maybe they love uh, to go theaters the plays Capricorn is obviously about this hardworking, very disciplined, very time scheduled, very punctual. Sagittarius, yeah, humorous and light-hearted. This is very Sagittarius energy. <laughs> very sweet. And here we see Cancer. It's also about sweet and accepting, but sometimes Cancerians can be victim. Yeah. As a Cancerian <laughs> in Sun, <laughs> I can say, yeah, we love sometimes this drama. Even if we say, I love being peaceful. No, <laughs> Cancerians love some kind of drama. Okay, so let's take them here and read your tarot cards for more information. This was just, as I said, confirmation cards as signs. Maybe they gave you some kind of idea. If they, let's continue to reading. Pile number two. Pile number two. Who is your secret admirer? Pile number two. Who is your secret admirer? King of Swords, Five of Cups, The Fool, The Joker, Five of Wands, Strength, Moon Card, The Dead Card. And here we see the page of swords. Okay. It is like the the zodiac signs. Yeah, we see Leo. Yeah. Leo and Leo energy again. And also we see here Aquarius, Scorpio, Aquarius again. Leo, Leo, Pisces, Scorpio, and the Page of Swords is uh, the pure air element. So you can say Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini also. Who is your secret admirer? Pile number two. Who is your secret admirer? Hmm, young girl, addict, warrior. And he, here we see lover, yeah. A great passion and commitment and really admire something, appreciate something with their heart. Yeah, okay. Let's see your reading. Let me focus for a second. I believe they are very intelligent and very competitive. Yeah. And they can be seem like very cold from the outside with this king of swords. They are in some kind of a... Um, Clothing that is very, how can I say, formal, yeah, formal is the word. Very formal, like uniform. Maybe they work in some kind of a corporate environment. But I believe in their personal, their private life, they love to dress like more lovely colors you know more bright colors but this is their work dress like yeah maybe they are sometimes paranoid yeah because the uh, king of swords is 
someone who can barely trust people sometimes they trust no one but if they trust someone um, there is a very few people they don't have um, big environment big uh, friends group no this is a very limited friend group they are in and here with the five of cups they can be sometimes dramatic very nostalgic about their past and maybe they are so much into past they can't let go of some past memories traumas with the here this addict card and the warrior i believe life was not easy for them maybe they lost someone or something that is very significant to them and they are pessimist you can see here um three cups just spilled but they are standing two cups but here this woman can see that she is all in black maybe she is in a grief she is uh, feeling a pain of losing somebody but they should move on yeah i believe um people see them from outside like oh he or she is just some careless person they don't love people they are cold they are there they are in their own but no even if they seem like a warrior from outside like a cold person a competitive a ruthless person who only cares about their future their career their finances this is not the case yet this can be someone who ends relationships and then begins them because they are at the um, center of decisions this is someone who makes the decisions a lot and they think very uh, rationally is was that that was the word reason you know reason logic yeah yeah logic they are very logical yeah they are very logical they are very reasonable if they are doing something there must be some kind of a logic some kind of a reason behind this behavior and they don't like um, people with hesitations with indecisive uh, actions because they are very you know clear minded they know what to do even if in some kind of dramatic <laughs> urgent um, moments they are very strong very brave they are not afraid of taking actions or even maybe sometimes people can see them as uh, crazy <laughs> you know crazy maybe someone um, you see them like a childish person maybe you can't understand their actions their behaviors but this is their nature they are doing this to deal with life itself because in their uh, subconscious mind they have so much um, fears anxiety nightmares and this is just um, a pain for them a pain yeah here you can see the moon card moon card is about illusions fears our subconscious mind you know this creature this monster here waits for the moment in this water water is the subconscious mind and it is also about the emotions water so maybe this person is afraid of their emotions maybe they love to or choose to hide them and i believe uh, you are not even 
suspicious about them. You are not even given a chance to that, um, you know, this situation. Maybe you are saying, that, no, no, this person cannot be <laughs> interested in me because they are cold to me. They don't give a care. They are just on their own. They are just in their business. I don't believe they are care for me. I don't believe they admire me, love me, have a crush on me. But this is someone who is afraid of their fears. Um, if, um, sorry, their emotions, romantic emotions, but also emotions about their family, their friends, these close, intimate, deep emotions um, is like a weakness for them. Yeah. They are not afraid of the things life brings to them. No, this is not a, a issue of fear, but emotions with people with the ones they care this is something they are afraid of yeah their courage ends within this <laughs> um, boundaries of emotions in here we see the young girl and it is about healthy romance understanding the healthy romance its nature having some kind of um, confidence, self-confidence, self-trust. But here we can see this person uh, just having this negative, they have shadow sides of these cards. And here um, they are afraid of romantic illusions, you know, romantic illusions. They are afraid of a love um, that is not requested not required yeah they believe uh, they can be in love with someone but that someone cannot love them they have that kind of a sense uh, i don't deserve love i am not that person i am dealing with my addictions my fears my life and here with this warrior card yes they are very disciplined very powerful they have a sense of will they are in their own hero in their story but to speak of love romance no they are not courage no and they believe this love issue to love someone um, that can be very you know dangerous for them it is hard to uh, eliminate love from you know these dangerous feelings passions addictions and they are afraid of giving themselves to harm yeah they are afraid of giving harms to themselves when they are loving someone and here with the dead card i believe uh, they experienced a lot of transformations in their lives and i believe this is someone who lost somebody very important for them maybe they lost their mom their dad their child or um, their fiance their wife or husband yeah maybe their pet this is like a child to them and this is such a big grief and here you can see the child giving a rose yeah they are wishing to have this kind of a feeling this kind of a story but they cannot achieve this okay and here we see the signs of did i say yeah but yeah yeah okay a curious scorpio scorpio again a curious again leo leo pisces and here we see the um element of air again 
so pile number two this was your reading this was the person who secretly admires you i hope you enjoyed the reading if you do you can subscribe to my channel leave a comment below you can share the video with the ones you love <laughs> and you can like the video thank you for watching i am hoping to see you in other videos take care of yourself bye welcome back pile number three first of all we are going to have some kind of these cards these oracle cards um they are going to be like some confirmation signs you know and after that we are going to read your toy cards so let's begin with these physical qualities file number three you can focus with me and you can ask to your higher self who is my secret admirer file number three who is your secret admirer curly top straight top <laughs> both of them so because this is a general reading for some of you it is curly but for some of you it is someone with straight up feeler hmm someone who can do empathy someone who is emotional who gives importance to their emotions age older than you short curvy air sign hmm aquarius gemini libra they can have these in their bar chart maybe wavy top yeah curly and wavy okay fire signs sagittarius aries leo twin flame life partner hmm this person i believe just um doesn't just admire you <laughs> but they consider you as someone who can be their life partner yeah they are taking uh serious they are thinking like we can be our life partner oh and here at the bottom of the deck we have soulmate this is very strong yeah very strong energy very strong bond mm, they as i said before just they doesn't just admire you does it they yeah care about you you know and maybe they have feelings like love okay who are they who is your secret admirer pile number three sweet someone who is sweet <laughs> or maybe someone uh, who has sweet thought hmm. cooperative mother mouth <laughs> they lost the talk they are chti. loving yeah they are loving they are caring at least for you <laughs> i don't know the other people but at least for you this person is uh, loving caring they are taking this very serious people pleaser they love people around them yeah they love to work with other people they also uh, give some kind of a care for these people i believe adventurous hmm. maybe they love to travel or maybe they are traveling because of their job their occupation okay and boring i believe they consider themselves as someone boring <laughs> okay and here we are taking some zodiac signs and actually more than zodiac signs we can see the energy they have rigid and controlled aquarius and we had aquarius here before who are they 
Libra cooperative and agreeable. Yeah, again, we can see here cooperative. Yeah, they love to help others. They love to work with others. Maybe they are working with groups, with teams. Maybe they have partnership in their occupation. Okay. Aquarius again and Cancer. Temperamental and impatient, suspicious and pessimistic. Yeah, I believe they are pessimistic about their self, their future, their life. Virgo, focus to a fault. Yeah, they are focused to their faults um, because they have some issues with self confidence, I believe. Virgo again, judgmental and critical. Taurus, patience and diligence. And here we have Leo, relaxed and lazy. Okay, so we had here Taurus, Virgo, Leo, Cancer, lots of Aquarius and Libra. Yeah, they love to talk, but maybe they are afraid of, you know, people. Um, I am talking right now, but if they get bored when I talk, Maybe they are afraid of this. Maybe they don't consider themselves as charismatic. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Now we'll have the tarot cards and our archetype cards. Let me summon them. This was your. This was your. Um, as I said, significators confirmations I really love this soulmate energy <laughs> really love this so let's see their tarot cards who is your secret admirer pile number three <laughs> who is your secret admirer who are they five of swords Knight of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, yeah, who loves to be around people, Judgment, Four of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Emperor, and two of pentacles who are they who is your secret admirer pile number three mentor hmm uh if you drawn to pile number one you can also watch them okay <laughs> mystic mystical and here it comes uh different so you can watch the pile number one and here we have the gossip yeah let me read the cards okay hmm. this is someone who is not uh, comfortable with their self you know they don't like themselves i believe they are always judging their self, criticizing their self, and um, they are not happy with themselves. But they love the people around them. And I believe they feel like um, I am valuable if I am doing good to people. If I am helping them, then I am valuable. Then I am someone who uh, deserve to be loved if they cannot help to others they are not happy and i believe this person 
um, had many failures in their lifetime yeah they know both victory and the failure yeah and that kind of a life experience i believe made them someone wise here we see the mentor we see the mentor uh, he is taking care of his student this girl and these are bird wings can you see bird wings she is under um, her teacher's wings <laughs> literally and he is giving his uh, wisdom and help her to develop her character so this person I believe either they are uh, someone who is mentor and gives wisdom gives help to others or they are the student who really um, cares about their teachers opinions advices about them but I believe either case I believe this person has someone special in their life with uh, their same gender yeah with their same gender yeah maybe this person can be uh, their brother sister their mother or father or even maybe their boss or teacher or advisor you know and they gives um they give so much importance to their presence yeah this person is a kind uh, a part of their life as a result um they value the term of family the form the term of family unity they believe in family they believe in relationships and this person really um, wants to be in a commitment in a relationship and i believe uh, they want to get married it's like the test must be energy <laughs> you know i am romantic i am a hopeless romantic and i am looking for the one this is their energy and i believe they are seeing you as the one <laughs> so maybe you are the a fairy angel of their dreams their ideals and i believe they want to um take you on a date <laughs> yeah they want to take you on a date maybe giving you roses making you a meal a dinner a lunch i don't know maybe really a picnic like that and here you can see they have the love letter <laughs> yeah i also made a love letter a channel love letter on my channel um you can see that in my videos after watching that you can also watch this and they have also tattoos can you see in their arms they have tattoos and here we can see this um, hat yeah I believe this person either uh, this is a male or female it doesn't matter they are charismatic and uh, they gives attention to their looking their outfit they have a style you know they have a style but mostly I believe they prefer to wear um, treasures yeah t-shirts yeah this is support but also had some kind of uh, elegance yeah some kind of uh, elegance in their look and i believe people around them when they um, enter in an environment people look up to them 
people admire them. This is someone uh, either handsome or very beautiful, I believe. Yeah, we can say that. And as I said before, <laughs> this is someone like that must be. Um, I believe they had so many failed relationships, failed dates, but they see you as uh, someone they can rely on, they can trust. Like here you can see the golden retriever, the dog. It is the symbol of loyalty to, faith, to have faith in someone. And I believe they are praying for you. They are praying to uh, come together with you. Because I see here lots of uh, cards that mentions about relationships, committed relationships. And maybe they also love to uh, do music and dancing here in Four of Wands. You can see music dancing and here we see bracelets yeah maybe they are into some kind of jewelry but um, they are wearing this around there you know this yeah hands arms their heart uh, their arms and hands this is interesting i believe they are um, wearing some kind of a symbol or some kind of a accessoire yeah can you see here this yeah and here we see the mars energy with the emperor because it is uh, aries they can Ari they can have aries Capricorn, Aries again, Virgo, Pisces, and Aquarius in their birth chart. Also here we see the Judgment and the Ace of Pentacles. They don't give exactly zodiac signs, but Judgment is about uh, Pluto. So we can say maybe Scorpio energy, maybe. And also we see here Ace of Pentacles. It is pure earth energy so you can say three of them virgo taurus and capricorn but this person is someone who is very loyal you can trust them yeah you can trust them this gossip card i believe it um mentions their ability yeah but this says um, it is recognition of taking uh, care of others' emotions, giving importance to others' emotions, uh, honoring the trust. I believe here uh, works the positive attribute not the negative one because we see here this person is someone who can who you can trust on and they are also very mystical maybe they are into spirituality or maybe they are very religi religious but they um, love to connect with the divine you know and they are also very uh, patient not selfish very generous and maybe they can be your friend somehow i don't know maybe you met them in a friend environment maybe uh, in a work or school environment it is also possible but they are also very uh, capable of doing things at the same time they are very skilled they have so many abilities from different fields i guess and this is someone who has a very uh, good job a very good status yeah pile number three i think you know them but <laughs> yeah maybe also you uh, have a crush on them yeah it is very possible but this is someone 
whom uh, you can trust on and have a committed relationship with yeah so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you do please subscribe to my channel it motivates me to uh, <laughs> record other videos you can like the video you can leave a comment below and if you like um, you can share the video with the ones you love your friends your family i hope to see you in other readings so take care of yourself bye